My first love actually for hip hop came through. Dat het gekom die b-boy, ik het b-boy, ik in de days in zijn so. Ik het gelijk b-boy doen, ik het gelijk met die b-boy zang, because the b-boy wave was on another level in Kayla. Yeah, by the, I'm gonna take you later there, um, by the parky. It used to be the parky, but there's fuck all left of a parky anymore, since I, but that is where everyone got together, man. In every street, you will see there's like a, a mat or a stuck up pipe. Where mana was cupping it out, where mana was challenge, challenging each other on the on the on the b-boy floor and battling each other in kak. There was a, never really a moment where I say, Kaigi ek wil rap or whatever. Ne. It was just that wherever in I was moving in hip-hop, so when I see a need for a bra to, to b-boy, I was b-boying. When I see a, a need for a bra making a beat, I was beatboxing. And similar to, to rapping, I was like, yo. Now everyone is b-boying, we didn't have rappers. Today they complain, hey, was it the clom rappers, ma? Wat gaat aan? Hoe komen ze zo bij rappers? But in my time, there was, there was, there was more b-boys than rappers, man. So I thought, okay, and I was, also I was a bit fucking overweight for some of the b-boy moves. So I was always injuring myself in cock scenes. So I thought, nah, man, let me, let me just fucking, let me just fucking try this rap cock out, man. <laughs>